And amid the ongoing migrant crisis in our state, Governor Maura Healey today also signed into law her first annual state budget. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has a breakdown of what's included. Governor Maura Healey signed her most significant piece of legislation into law today, over a month after it should have been in place. The approximately $56 billion includes a host of spending and policy measures. This budget is also the first to include the anticipated $1 billion from the Fair Share Amendment. $524 million from the Fair Share Amendment will be spent on education. The most notable investment is $71 million for early education and care to increase child care slots for income eligible families. It also sets aside $172 million on universal free school meals. $470 Seven million of the fair share money will be spent on transportation, including increasing rural connectivity for regional transit authorities. As for policy measures, all students, regardless of immigration status, will be able to receive in-state tuition at public colleges and universities, and COVID-era anti-eviction policies will be put back in place. What the package also does is set aside $580 million for tax relief, which remains in negotiations. I think that the important thing is, I think we all recognize that tax relief is something we want to accomplish for purposes of making life more affordable for residents, uh, more competitive for our state. There are a lot of good ideas already out there and on the table, and this is the work of government and policymaking, so I know people will be hard at hard at work in the days and weeks ahead and look forward to that process. The governor returned a few amendments, one being extending the implementation of no-cost phone calls for inmates by five months. The governor also vetoed around $205 million in net spending from the plan, saying a lot of what was vetoed was due to funding found elsewhere. The signing of this budget makes it the second latest in 22 years. Working for you at the Statehouse in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.